Ladies and gentlemen, on November 19th, 2021, we're about to have the longest lunar eclipse of the century. So make sure you mark your calendars because this will be seen all over North America and beyond. So this one will last three hours, 28 minutes, 24.1 seconds. I have some audio from Forbes magazine, and this article came out November 10th, 2021. Exactly when, where, and how you can see next week's longest lunar eclipse of the century. By Jamie Carter. When is the next blood moon? In the early hours of Friday, November 19, 2021, a lunar eclipse, also known as a blood moon, will be visible from the Americas, Northern Europe, Eastern Asia, Australia, and the Pacific. During the event, a smaller than usual full moon, November's beaver moon, will enter Earth's shadow for the longest time this century. However, it's technically only a partial lunar eclipse. But did you know that it will also set up a total solar eclipse in early December? Here's everything you need to know about the blood moon, including exactly when, where, and how to see it from North America. Explained. Blood moon, partial lunar eclipse. On Friday, November 19, 2021, those in North America, South America, Australia, and East Asia will see the full moon turn red. However, it won't go completely red. In fact, during the event only 97% of the moon will enter Earth's shadow in space, leaving a tiny portion still illuminated by the sun. A total lunar eclipse occurs when a full moon passes through Earth's shadow in space. Each month the new moon passes roughly between the Earth and the sun and then orbits to the other side of Earth to the sun to become a full moon. When those alignments are precise they cause either a solar or lunar eclipse. The moon's orbit is titled in respect to the ecliptic, the sun's apparent path through our daytime sky, so only very occasionally does a new moon eclipse the sun, a total solar eclipse, and or a full moon travel through the Earth's shadow, a total lunar eclipse. What will happen on Friday, November 19, 2021 is a full moon traveling through the edge of the Earth's shadow. Explained. Why the blood moon will last so long. At 3 hours 28 minutes and 23 seconds this lunar eclipse will be the longest lunar eclipse between 2001 and 2100 according to NASA. That's because the beaver moon is going to be the smallest full moon of the year. Why? Because the moon will be slightly further away than on average. The moon has an elliptical orbit that sees it reach a close point, perigee or supermoon, and a far point, apogee, each month. This month happens to feature the farthest apogee moon which is a mere 1.7 days after the eclipse. Since it's far away the Earth's shadow is larger, so it will take longer to travel through it. It's therefore an unusually deep lunar eclipse. Explained. Why the blood moon will turn red. During the moon's long journey through Earth's shadow on Friday, November 19, 2021, the only light that will reach the lunar surface will first have been filtered through Earth's atmosphere. Short wavelength blue light from the sun hits molecules in Earth's atmosphere and scatters, but longer wavelength red and orange light mostly travels right through, striking fewer molecules. So the dominant color of light we'll see on the moon for that short time will be red. The physics is the same as for a sunset or sunrise. In fact, during a lunar eclipse the effect is like thousands of sunrises and sunsets being projected onto the lunar surface. However, 2.6% of the moon won't enter Earth's shadow. Located on the southern limb of the moon, it will remain lit by the sun while most of the lunar disk will turn red. What will happen during the blood moon, partial lunar eclipse? A partial lunar eclipse is really three eclipses in one, and it happens in five acts. The event begins when the full moon enters the Earth's outer shadows, its penumbra, a penumbral lunar eclipse. It then begins to enter Earth's inner shadow, its umbra, and as it does so it begins to turn red, a partial lunar eclipse. Once the whole of the moon is inside the umbra that's totality, the moon will have turned 97.4% red. The entire event then goes into reverse, with the moon exiting the umbra, then the penumbra. Here's the global schedule according to eclipse expert Fred Espinac. Penumbral lunar eclipse 602-718 to 718 coordinated universal time, 
76 minutes, full moon drops in brightness. You can miss this part. Partial lunar eclipse 718 to 902 coordinated universal time, 104 minutes, full moon begins to turn reddish. The sight of the moon slowly turning reddish is incredible. Greatest eclipse, near totality, 902 coordinated universal time, greatest eclipse, full moon is 97.4% red. If you only want a glimpse of the blood moon, this is when to see it. Partial lunar eclipse 902 to 1047 coordinated universal time, 105 minutes, full moon begins to turn gray. This is also a grand sight, it's Earth's shadow moving across the lunar surface. Penumbral lunar eclipse 1047 to 1203 coordinated universal time, 76 minutes, full moon remains muted in brightness. You can also miss this part. So the duration of the partial lunar eclipse is a whopping 3 hours 28 minutes and 24.1 seconds. When is the blood moon partial lunar eclipse where I live? This is a global event visible to everyone on the night side of Earth. But when you can see it depends, of course, on your time zone. So check a schedule for your location and consult an interactive map of the event. When is the next lunar eclipse? The next lunar eclipse will occur on May 16, 2022 when a 100% reddish blood moon will be visible in North America for 84 minutes, and it's a total lunar eclipse. However, this eclipse season is not done yet because the partial lunar eclipse will be followed on the next new moon, on Saturday, December 4, 2021, with that most dramatic kind of eclipse of all, a total solar eclipse. It will be visible only to a few thousands eclipse chasers mostly on cruise ships in Antarctica. Okay. So that's some really interesting information. So if you're in North America, you will, as long as the skies permit and they're not overcast, you'll be able to see this thing. I look forward to looking up and seeing it. So it's not a total eclipse where it's 100%, but it is the majority of the moon because they're saying about 94% of the moon will have the shadow. So only a small percentage won't. So it's very close to a total eclipse, but not quite. And then there is a total eclipse on December 4th. And uh, like they were saying, if you live close to Antarctica, then you will be able to see it. But look up at the sky anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, I remember, and I've said this to you before, back in 2018, they said there was an eclipse and it would not be visible in America. And it was visible in America. I saw it along with other people around the country that said they looked up and saw the blood moon. So they're not always right about these things. So even if they're telling you on the fourth, you won't see it, look up anyway. You might see it anyway, for real. But y'all, please tell me what you think about the longest lunar eclipse will occur on November uh, 19th, 2021, and then another eclipse, a, a total eclipse, will occur on the 4th of December, and that will also be a lunar eclipse. So this is exciting, and after these events, <laughs> you're going to see things go haywire. We did in the lunar eclipse before. These blood moons are real significant and they're very biblical. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.